All right, all right, all right. What's happening, fam? LAL movement still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father uh, at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. This video is entitled Blinded by Anger and Entitlement. There's a segment of, uh, of people that you meet in your life who do things because they're angry. And they've been doing things because they're angry. And they try to justify, because their anger isn't justifiable, but they try to justify it. They do things out of anger that create bad situations. And because they do these things out of anger, they, they have a reputation of being a hothead. And one of the things about being a hothead is once you get the reputation and it precedes you, in some ways you get entitled to the fact that you could just do anything you want when you get angry and you're not responsible for the damage caused by your actions. And the reason I say blinded by anger and entitlement is because it's the same thing with people who are, who, who, feel, who are spoiled or, in, or feel entitled. Because when you're entitled, to, or you feel entitled, these are things that probably were bestowed upon you to make you feel entitled. It's something probably, you, things you probably didn't do for yourself. You're accustomed to a certain uh, life or lifestyle because of the people prior to you set it up for you that way. So you're, in blind, you're blinded by your entitlement, not, not taking into consideration what you think is normal because you're entitled isn't normal. So what winds up happening is you get these people who, who in some ways, they're habitual line steppers. But, and because they get upset, they feel like they can say anything do anything, respond any kind of way with no uh, consequence, repercussion, backlash. And when they're met with these consequences, repercussions, this backlash, they lose it. And for some odd reason, they never take, they never have a sense of of long-term thinking or empathy for you know if I'm if, if I if I'm mad and I go off because I'm mad I understand the consequences of what I if what I might do if I'm mad who it might hurt and you know or affect and how I might have to fix that you get what I'm saying but when you're blinded by anger and you're accustomed to it or you could just blow everything up and just walk away like nothing. And then you come back. I was like, well, you know, I did all that because I was mad. Yeah, but you, you know, like, when you're blinded by anger, you'll blow out somebody else's spot because you're angry, but you won't blow up your own spot. See, you, you could walk away from their spot and come back later after all, it's all fixed up. It looks nice in here. It's cool, man. Man, y'all... I did a lot to the place. Yeah, we had to after you went to a blind rage, so you say, and uh, you blew up the spot. Well, I was mad that day. Okay, so why you didn't help us fix it? Well, it shouldn't, you know, me, me burning the building down, you know, when I'm mad doesn't count for actually burning the building down. What? What'd you say? It don't count. What, you, what, what it don't count? And then you say, okay, well, I'm going to go blow up your spot. Ah, ah, that's wrong. Because you got you entitled. And this video comes about because something that happened where someone I know did something they had no business doing. When they did it, they were angry. And they felt like they could do it and they felt like they could get away with it. Came back to bite them in the ass. And you know what they mad about? that they have to fix what they did. They're more, 
They, they, they're not mad about doing it. They're not mad about getting caught. They're mad about, you know, the fact that now they actually got a lit. They made the bed that they have to lay in. They mad that they got to lay in this bed. And this is the crazy part about being blinded by anger and entitlement. Because when you're blinded by this stuff, one of the major problems is, you know, you've gotten yourself into situations that you never had to get yourself out of. And that's the hilarious part about it. A lot of these people, you know, use their emotions as an excuse or their entitlement as an excuse for somebody else, like I said earlier, to come along and fix it. But when, it's, when you got to fix it, it's a problem. It, 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 you know you you gotta you do the crime you gotta do the time can't nobody do the time for you because they didn't do the crime for you <laughs> and you find yourself <clears throat> around people who are mad because they can't get away with being mad and now they're mad at facing the consequences of them being mad but they can't say it wasn't anybody else but them there's no, there's no accomplice to their blind rage or their blind entitlement. Now, blinded by entitlement is also the same thing. When I've, I met people who somebody did all the heavy work for them. Somebody laid the groundwork for them. Somebody laid the path for them. Somebody put, that, put out the foundation. All they had to do was just follow the plan. And because they were following a plan that, that was actually working, you know, they, they deemed themselves as better than other people because they had a better situation than other people. Now, it, hit the, it hits the fan when you get to the finish line of this plan. Cause, and I see this happening with some people where, you know, now, it's, now you got to the finish line, now it's time for you to take now they pass the torch to you and now you got to run with it. And now you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, I, I was born to be worshipped and adorned and y'all was here to serve me. I am not here to do this for anybody else. Like, what? You, you got it twisted. Like, we put you on this path so you can be in a better position than, every, than, than we were. And st so you can put, put somebody else in a better position than you are. It's like, uh-uh. I don't want to put nobody in a better position. I want to be in this position. And what happens is, because they're blinded by the entitlement, here's the one thing that they forget. You got to maintain a lifestyle for your entitlements now. There's, you know, and you, there's a lot of adults who like, well, I got to take care of myself. In a better fashion than y'all took care of me. Y'all y'all treated me like this. Y'all raised me like this. Y'all got me accustomed to this. Why can't y'all just continue to do it until I die? So you're so blind. And, and, and if these people, and this is part of, you know, some of these people are looking for relationships. So somebody could, could subsidize their entitlement. Some, some people can have kids and they dislike their kids because now they have to, act, they, they do not want to put the work in to make their kids better than them. And, you know, they're blinded by that entitlement because they'll get mad at, at the very people who help them to get to where they're at help their kids to get farther than them because they feel like they should still be investing in them even though they're not investing in their own children because they feel like they're blinded they're blinded by the entitlement like just because I had this kid doesn't mean you got to stop doing for me which is asinine but it happens now where this where this hits a head for some people is when the kid surpasses the adult and, and the adult wants the help of that kid 
or the kids like they lose all respect for that adult that, that may even be their parent like I don't I don't owe you anything because you know I wasn't somebody you would help along the way I was somebody you would that you that you used to get ahead along the way you know you kind of um, parents who like to get their beak wet you know the, the, the kid is actually paying a parent a toll for being their kid because since they're blinded by entitlement their, their kid is a way to get those the, that come up lifestyle and I'm not talking about other people I'm just talking about within the family right and they're blinded and, and they're blinded by how it looks because when the kid grows up and they have kids that parent is not trusted as a grandparent because it's like what you gonna use? Not you think you gonna you use me as a kid to get money from people and to maintain your lifestyle. You think you gonna use my kids as a way to maintain? Like I should move in and help you take care of the family, and all of this nice stuff will be at my disposal. And they're like, nah, yo yo be, hold your own nuts. <laughs> but uh, we out, man. Peace.